Units of measurement example one. Convert the following measurements to the units given in brackets. So we're going to convert three centimeters into millimeters and we're going to use our diagram above to help us. So first of all, we're going from centimeters to millimeters. So I look here and go, all right, if I'm going from centimeters over to millimeters, um, if I follow the direction of the arrow, it tells me to times by 10. So that just tells me what I'm going to do. 3 times 10 equals 30, so that's going to be 30 millimeters. All right, then we'll look at question B. We'll do this one in green. This one wants to go from liters to milliliters. Now, liters has no prefix, so liters falls here where the unit is. And if we're going to milliliters, we're actually taking it in two steps. We've got to go one, two to get to the milli prefix. And that's telling us we need to times by 100 and times by 10 as well. So um, 8700 times 100 times 10. I'm going to get a really big number here. So 8.7 million milliliters. All right, let's do question C. Um, we'll do this one in red. We're going from grams to tons. Now grams is the unit because there's no prefix in front of grams. And we learned that a ton is actually a mega gram earlier. So we've got to do two steps again, except this time to the left. And it's telling us to divide a thousand and divide a thousand again. So we're going to take 230,000 and we're going to divide a thousand twice. And that will equal 0 0.23 tons. Okay, looking at our last example, question D, we're converting 2,830 kilograms to tons. If I go from kilograms to megagrams, it tells me to divide a thousand. So we're just going to go 2,830 divide a thousand, which is 2.83 tons.